What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Let's go right ahead and press that start button, and uh, start reading some dialogue right here because, well, that's how this game always starts. Shoot, I remember, like, almost ten years ago, when this game started off like this, I was like, are you serious? They're starting it off like this, but then, you know, when you kept on pressing the button, it, it was like, wow. Wow, very, very, like, in, just ingenious and all that stuff. So, as you guys can see, hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. And this is what we call a Pokemon. And, well, look at this. It looks like we're playing the Game Boy ourselves right here. Look at that. Okay. And, yeah, we still lost the bat. Still in the back of the truck. And, as you guys can see, this world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times, playing together as friends, and at times helping one another. Oh wow, look at the graphics right here, holy crud, that's pretty awesome. And sometimes, we just like to have fun battling others like us. But as close as we are, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are still many, many sad mysteries surrounding Pokemon. I do research to try and unravel those Pokemon mysteries, but that's enough about me. Hmm. Oh wow, that's, that's, okay, that's pretty awesome right there, look at that. And there is a Talo. Holy buckets. Yes. We are in 3D. The 3D version of this whole game right here. Okay, so as always, he's going to be asking you, what about you? Are you a boy or are you a girl? And obviously, we are a boy. We are a man. You guys can hear the, the voice right here. Yes, I, I'm a manly kind of man. But right now, we're going to be playing a 10-year-old boy right here. So, yes, my name. It's me. It's me. It's GLD, that's right. Draven, and, uh... Well, let's go ahead and accept this. And he's gonna be like, I see! You're that Draven! You're the one who's moving to Little Root Town where I live! Oh, look at that, a map! Nice map and everything. And... Are you ready? Oh, wow, okay, so it looks like we stopped. Your very adventure, or your very own adventure is about to unfold. Be courageous and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams and adventures and friendships await. I expect we'll be meeting soon again, or again soon. Come and see me soon. Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, like I said before, guys, that's right, we lost the bet, and, well, everything looks pretty cool right here. Look at that. Okay, okay, so we lost the bet. How do we lose a, a bet to our mom? And it's a Azuril doll. It has a familiar smell. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump out of this uh, this truck right here. And look at this. The world is our oyster. Look at that. Oh, yes. The world is our oyster. Okay. So, let's see what we got right here. Well, would you look at that? Somebody is looking at us. And that's our mom. And she's like, Driven! You're here at last! Wasn't it tough riding in the back of a bump, uh, that bumpy moving truck all the way? Well, this is Little Root Town. What do you think? This is going to be our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it looks like it should be nice a place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room this time, Draven. Come on, you have to see inside. Okay, alrighty, so let's see what this new, uh, this new house has to bring us. Especially, you know, in a much more updated version of Hoenn. And, well, look at this. See, Draven, isn't it nice here, too? The moving company's Pokemon even help with the unpacking and cleanup. They really make moving a, a cinch. And, well, look at this. This Machoke, he's like, grow, grow, grow. Thanks for all the hard work. We really appreciate it. Quag, quag, quag. And, well, everybody is leaving. And, uh, it's pretty awesome. You know how Pokemon can just, like, you know, help us move. We don't have to lift up a thing. Even though they, they have the... They can bench press a whole uh, a, a whole truck, yeah. And, well, Mama's gonna be like, You should go and see your new room upstairs, Draven. Dad even bought a new clock for you for it to, to celebrate the big move. You'll need to set the time, though. Okay, so let's go right ahead and set the time. And, well, a cool thing about, you know, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby is you can press the B button. You don't have to get no running shoes because you already have it. That's right, you can run whenever you want. And, uh... Well, let's see. This is our room. There's a big old Snorlax uh, doll right here. A TV, you know, the whole shebang. 
And, well, let's see what we got. Draven's Notebook is full of adventure rules. He's jotted down. Adventure uh, rule number one. Open the menu with the X button. Number rule number two. Record your progress with save. Okay. That's pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and switch this, uh, or let's fix up this clock right here. And, look at that. We're winding it out. We're doing everything, and... Well, we are now here. The hour hand said is set to 9, and the minute hand is set to 38. Yes, it's 9.38 right now. I'm doing this a little late because, well, you know, got out of work a little early. feel like I need to complete everything. And Mom is going to be like, how do you like your new room, Draven? Good. Everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything downstairs, too. It really, uh, it really is so nice having Pokemon help uh, around how to help us. Oh, but you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk, which I already did. Okay, so I already did. Let's go back downstairs and check this out. And Mama's going to be calling us. She's like, oh, Draven, Draven, quick, come quickly. And we're looking. And it's the Bettelberg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on TV. The interviewer is going to be like, dot, dot, dot. We brought you this live report from in front of the Petalbrook Gym. Next up, a special look at a long-awaited meteor shower in the next star show. Hmm. Oh, it's already ended. Looks like your dad was on, but we missed his part. What a shame. But that, rem that, that reminds me, one of dad's friends lives in this town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Okay, maybe I will. Now, let's see, what do we have here? Look at that, our bag, items. And it looks like we got a potion, so everything's set. But, yeah, it looks like everything is set. Now, let's go right ahead and take a look at our, uh, our, our profile right here. As you guys can see, yes, look at that. The stud muffin, known as Draven, right there, spinning around. Every side is his good side, that's right. And we got no badges because, well, we like to slack around and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and find Professor Birch. And see what this is all about. So right next door, Professor Birch's house. And, well, this lady right here is going to be turning around. She's going to be like, oh, hello. And you are? Oh, you're Draven, our next door neighbor, or our new next door neighbor. Welcome. We have a daughter about the same age as you. She has been so excited about making a new friend. She should be in a room upstairs. I hope you'll go into and introduce yourself. Uh, maybe I will. Maybe I will. So let's go right ahead and meet this uh, this daughter of theirs, and well, we're walking up, and well, hello, hello there. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's right. She's still looking fine as always. So let's go right ahead and meet our new friend slash rival slash friend. Pokemon fully restored items already, and uh, huh, huh? Who are you? Oh, da da da! Oh, you must be Draven. Your move was today, huh? Well, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I I actually have a dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. And then Dad, oh, I mean Professor Birch, told me about you moving here, Draven. Well, I was hoping that you would be nice and we could be friends. But but <laughs> it just uh, that's just silly, isn't it? I've just met you, right, Draven? So what am I talking about? <laughs> Oh wow! Okay, she's not shy. Oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to go out. Uh, I was supposed to be going out to help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Driven. I'll see you later. Okay. Alrighty. So we have met our newest girlfriend, not so new girlfriend, and well, it is finally time for us to GTFO right here. And uh, well, after visiting Professor uh, uh, Professor Burge's family. All you got to do now is go up north right here, and the little kid that blocking the way, she's going to be looking at you, she's like, I think I hear somebody screaming up ahead. What should I do? What should we do? Somebody has to go help. Hmm. I would love to help, but, nah, what the hell. We are the hero of this whole thing. And once we get to Route 101, you hear a help me. And would you look at that. It's Professor Birch getting attacked by a Poochie and like, look at this. Holy crud. <laughs> He's scared. He's like, hello, you over there. Please help me out. In my bag, there are some Pokeballs. Yeah. Again, I would love to help, but... I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to just, like, go and sneak out of the way. But then again, I, we are the hero of this show. So let's go right ahead and see what's, what's inside the bag right here. 
So as you guys can see, we are starting off with the three starter Pokemon of Hoenn. You got Torchic, the fire type Pokemon, Trico, the grass type Pokemon, and Mudkip, the water type Pokemon. Now, yes, I did say that we were going to be starting off in Pokemon or uh, Alpha Sapphire brand new, and we're going to be using the Pokemon that we haven't used so far. Because if you guys remember, in both Pokemon, what was it, Omega Ruby, and the current... Uh, well, the current uh, Pokemon Emerald version that I have, we've used Trico quite a bit. And then we had Mudkip in the original Emerald version. Yes, I know many of you guys are probably thinking that, hey, you should probably go with that Pokemon because he's strong. Like, very, very strong. I would, but... Yeah, we, 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 we got some plans for this walkthrough because, well, we, we, we did quite a few other walkthroughs and all that stuff. We're going to be trading. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff. So, the next Pokemon on our team... Is going to be this guy right here, the fire type Pokemon Torchic. Let's go right ahead and use him because, well, it has been a long time. A very, very long time since we've used a Torchic. And, well, look at this a wild Poochiana appeared. And we're going to be going with Torchic. That's right, Torchic. How's it going? Alrighty, let's go. So, in Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, your starter Pokemon will have one of its same type attacks, a stat move, whatever. Many of you guys have been telling me. And uh, the rest of the moves, you know, it has this regular scratch or tackle attack with its stat effector or whatever you like to, guys like to call it. So, we're going to go straight for an Ember attack and just like that, for the win, say goodbye to Poochiana. And we get some experience points, that's right. Oh, yes. And Professor Burks is like it. Whew. I went to the tall grass to, uh, to survey wild Pokemon when I was suddenly jumped. You saved my hide. Thanks a lot. Oh. But you're Norman's boy, Draven. I didn't even realize that you were uh, you or, where, or who you were at first. You've grown uh, you've grown into quite the young man. This isn't the place to chat, though. Come along to my lab. Okay, let's go right ahead and uh, let's go ahead and figure this one out right here. So here we are, going into the lab. Oh, you guys gotta love gotta love the cutscenes right here. Walking with Professor Birch, and he's gonna be like, "So, Draven." I've heard so much about you from your father, but he said that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. If that's true, that was quite the performance back there. Looks like you really are your father's son. Oh yes, to say thanks for rescuing me out there. How about I give you that Pokemon you used earlier? And just like that, guys, throwing out that peace sign, we got ourselves our Torchic, and he's going to be like, well, you're at it. Why not give the Pokemon that, 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 that you just got a nickname? Yes, we're going to be nicknaming this Pokemon, and well, he's going to be like, yep, that's the spirit. So what kind of name will you go with? So I've been thinking about this, guys. Now, originally for our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough, the one that, you know, hopefully by the time this uh, walkthrough comes out, uh, Pokemon Emerald will be complete. I originally intended to use Torchic in that walkthrough because right around that time... You know, a certain hero of ours has finally made his way to the Morphin Grid and all that stuff. Yes, I am talking about Jason David Frank, Tommy. Unfortunately, I wanted to, I wanted to actually nickname this Pokemon, uh, or wanted to use this Pokemon in Pokemon Emerald. But since, you know, we're a little up to date right here, I decided that, you know what, let's go ahead and save it up for this one right here. Because this Torchic... To me, it kind of resembles the the man himself, you know? Tommy the Red Ranger, Tommy the Green Ranger. Torchic eventually evolves into a freaking death chicken. A fighting chicken that can do anything. One of the most impressive chickens. That's right. But on top of it all, he does some kicks just like Tommy did when I first saw him in a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So, Jason David Frank, wherever you are, this is dedicated to you. We're going to be nicknaming this Pokemon right here. Yes, Tommy. And uh, just to make sure everybody knows who which Tommy we're talking about, let's go ahead and add just a little bit more right here. Tommy JDF. That's right, guys. Tommy, of course, one of my favorite Power Rangers of all time. And as I'm recording this, we are very close to the final, what was it? The final movie that he ever made. What was it? Legend of the White Dragon. I'm definitely going to be seeing that. So again, this is dedicated to the greatest the greatest Power Ranger of all time, Tommy. Tommy Oliver, Jason David Frank. May he rest in peace. So let's go right ahead and press that button right there. Tommy JDF. Okay. 
You know, if you work with your Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll uh, make a pretty excellent trainer. My girl May happens to be out in Route 103 right now surveying Pokemon for me. It might not be a bad idea for you to head out uh, that way. What do you think? Let's go right ahead and see that pretty lady right there. Great! I'm sure I'm sure May will be happy to hear that, too. She can uh, help teach you what it means to be a trainer. Oh, yes! And if you ever get lost along the way, use the area nav on your Pokenab Plus. You can use it You can use it to see how to get to Route 103, where May ought to be. And if your Pokemon get tired, get some rest back at your new house. Okay! Now, first is first, let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon right here. Yes, Tommy JDF. Finally a good nickname for Torchic. As you guys can see, we got good old buddy right here. Now, it has its usual stuff. Blaze, it powers up fire type moves when, it, when the Pokemon is in trouble. As you guys can see, its special defense is not that great, and its nature is probably the reason why special defense is not that great because if we take a look at its nature it has a lax nature so yeah it has some good endurance and all that stuff but we better be careful for those special attacks right there so anywho let's go right ahead and find our girlfriend yes let's go find our girlfriend okay so here we are look at this little root town whatever and well here we are in route 101 Stepping in the grass on purposely just because we want to show off our Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and see what Wurmple does. Tommy JDF, about to get some experience points. Now, in Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, eventually you'll get the experience all. There's, there's actually quite a few things that you'll get in regards to, you know, the current generation. Now, if you guys remember, in Pokemon X and Y, they've introduced the experience all as a key item where you can actually train your Pokemon in both capturing or just battling them right here. You get experience points. And believe it or not, right here, yes, you get to power up your Pokemon real quick. That is why, that is why when we get to the nitty gritty and all that stuff, yeah, huh, we're going to be using quite a few Pokemon. That's why like right here on our background, you're not seeing any kind of Pokemon team members because we're going to be using a lot of them. So anywho, here we are, and well, this guy's gonna be stopping as he's gonna be like, Hi there, I work at the Pokemart. From what I can see, you're a novice trainer, am I right? Okay. Being super kind-hearted as I am, I'm going to give you useful advice. Oh, look at this. First of all, that's a Pokemart there. Just uh, look for the, just look for our blue roof. We'll sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs or for catching Pokemon. I'd like you to have these as part of a special promotion, and we get ourselves 10 potions. See how it says right there? Potions? He's giving us 10 potions. Okay, so that makes 11. Potions can be used anytime, so they can be very useful to have. And he's gonna be looking at right here. He's like, and in this, uh, well, and this is a Pokemon Center. Look for the red roof. Ask the woman inside, and she'll restore your Pokemon's health. That's it. That's, uh, that was the advice from me, the supremely kind-hearted clerk. Have a great journey. Okay. Alrighty. So, we've already done our thing right here. Now it is time for us to go straight to one, Route 103. Now, let's see. Another thing, too. When these games came out, guys, there was a little bit of a promotion, and that was the mystery gift. The mystery gift that you could grab was a shiny Beldum. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those left. I really wanted to use one of those Pokemon on my team because, well, damn, that Pokemon was a tank. If, if I can get one, if I can find one, if I, if, if, if I could see in my Pokemon uh, Oraz or Omega Ruby uh, walkthrough, if I have one of those, I'll probably send it over right here and then, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll destroy everybody. But in the meantime, let's go right ahead and find our girlfriend, May. So here we are, Route 103. And I really love the way how everything pans out. You can actually see May along the distance. So let's see what she's looking at. And, well, would you look at that? Doesn't that pond look a little familiar? Just a little bit? And she's going to be like, let's see. On Route 103, I found this Pokemon and this one and this one too. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, Draven. What's that? <laughs> oh, my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift, huh? Well then, why don't we go ahead and have a quick battle? I'll give you a taste of what uh, being a trainer is uh, really like. Okay, whatever you say. 
So, here we go, guys. It's time. Taking on our girlfriend, Pokemon Trainer May, and she's going to be coming out with a Mudkip. Holy crud. So, this is going to be a tough one here, too. Mudkip, considered probably one of the most favorite Pokemon in all of Hoenn because of its uh, dual typing eventually. For me, you know, when I first used it in the uh, very first Emerald Walk that I played out, I saw what you guys meant. I really did, and uh, <laughs> it really sorted out quite a few things. Let me use quite a few Pokemon that I love, and uh, holy crud, this Pokemon's about to destroy me. All right, let's go, Iron Chicken. Let's go. Okay, so we're running, and he's going to go for a tackle attack, and I don't think we're going to beat this Pokemon with one more hit, so let's go ahead and cheat. Let's get a potion out and give it to Tommy JDF. We're not here to lose, okay? Let's go right ahead. And, well, here comes another tackle attack. Takes 5 HP. And we're going to be going straight for another scratch attack. Yes, I know I could be using Ember, but, yeah, this Pokemon is, uh... Yeah, it, it, it will not be defeated like that. So, there it is, guys. We have defeated Mudkip, and BAM! We get ourselves to level 7. And, well, our girlfriend's going to be looking at us. She's like... Wow, that was great, Draven. You're pretty good. Yes, I am. Giggity. Okay, so she's going to be like, it was a good battle. Thanks. Let me heal up both our power parties real quick. And there you go. We're getting healed up. And, well, she's like, wow. I think I know why my po my dad has his eye on you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon and you already got the strong, bond, or strong of a bond. I bet you could probably befriend any kind of Pokemon you meet. Yeah, probably. Whew. I guess I'd better head back to the lab. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to skip forward. We're going to follow our girlfriend back to uh, the lab. And uh, we're going to take care of business right there. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So, here we are back at Little Root Town. And all we need to do now is go straight into the professor's lab. And uh, there it is. Oh, Draven, over here. Well, look at that. Look at that. Okay, so Professor Birch is like, so I hear you beat May on your first try. That's amazing. May's been helping my research for a long time, so she's a, she has a pretty long history as a trainer already. Mm -hmm, I think that settles it. Draven, I ordered this Pokedex for my research, but I think you should take it. And, well, look at that, guys. We got ourselves a Pokedex. Always nice to have. And that Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically records a, a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My girl makes, uh, May, my girl May takes her wherever she goes. Whenever she catches a rare Pokemon and records it, it, its data in the Pokedex, why she comes to seek me out wherever I am in the field to show me. The Pokemon and people you meet, and the great expanse of nature that lies before you. Experience, uh, experience them both while you're, while you fill your Pokedex. I'd love it, I'd love it uh, if your world seemed wider than ever. Though... I'd love it even more if you can't come back uh, from time to time to show me the progress you've made. Huh. I'm getting the itch to go out to do field work again. And May's gonna be looking at us. She's gonna be like, oh wow. Oh wow, Draven, now you've got a Pokedex too. That's great, just like me. Then here, I'll give you something too. Some Pokeballs that you can use to catch some wild Pokemon. And there we go, guys. We get ourselves some Pokeballs. Yes. Some Pokeballs. If you catch a Pokemon in the wild and battle together with it for a while, it will grow stronger for you. Take that as a bit of advice from a more experienced trainer like me. I'm going to get ready to head out from uh, from Little Root, Little Root soon uh, myself. I can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon I'm going to meet. Let's both do our best on our journeys at Draven. Okay. So, this is the very first episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Yes. And, uh, well, we're going to be having some fun right here, guys. There will be some trades. There will be some Pokemon that will be entering our team. Like I said early on, uh, this you know this is the reason why we don't have any kind of like team Pokemon, like any Pokemon teams on our screen right here because well, we're gonna be using a boatload of Pokemon, and I mean a lot of them. And eventually we're gonna come out with like a a proper team, I guess, at some point a proper team of whatever, and. Uh, not only that, but we're actually going to be seeing some other Pokemon teams that we got, you know, 
growing them, breeding them, and all that stuff. We're going to be doing a lot of this, uh, this walkthrough right here. So thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for being supportive as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. See you guys.